Just released today ranks Denver as having some of the worst road conditions in the entire country. And those rough roads can cost you both time and money. Fox 31 Denver's Drew Engelbart takes a look at what it means for drivers. Well, thanks to our photographer Dan Mayberry here. We're cruising in his car around some pretty bumpy roads here in the Denver metro area. Now, the TRIPS report that was released today, it ranks pavement conditions as well as driver costs in major U.S. cities. And frankly, this is a list that Denver should not want to be on. It's a brand new wheel. It's almost brand new and just hit the pothole perfectly and knocked a really good piece of truck out of it. Cost the customer about... 235 for new wheel. And this has become a common theme for Peerless Tires this year. I hit a pothole, boom, it cracked it. In fact, they told us that in one day they replaced 14 flat tires. It's just getting worse and worse, and I see them at least once or twice a week. And here's why the TRIP study says Denver ranks 21st for poor road conditions. 43% of our major roads are in bad shape. And we rank 22nd in how much it costs to drive Denver's rough roads. You'll pay $737 more per year. This year, it's been really bad. And driving on bad roads means you pay for extra maintenance, repairs, and gas. Right now, my car's in the shop. It could have something to do with the roads. CDOT has not received any state funding since 2007 because voters won't approve tax increases for the roads. I think we're paying enough in taxes that, you know, they should be able to take care of it. And CDOT says over the last 20 years, the state has grown by 50% but 0% increase in funding. With no funding increases and some of that kind of thing, we are going to be in a very difficult situation. A situation that doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. The city is trying their best to keep up, but I mean, they fill one and there'll be three more next day. In Denver, Drew Engelbart, Fox 31 Denver. It's pricey for sure.